little ones. I hope you are ready for a morning stroll. Yes, mommy. We are. Okay, just follow me. I know you have been learning about the moon from Mr. Hopster, so I'm going to sing a song about the moon. Yay! Yay! Moon, oh moon, up in the sky, looking like a yummy pie. How do you wax and wane so well? My dear friend, please do tell. Moon, oh moon, up in the sky, looking like a yummy pie. I hope you like the song, little ones. Mommy, we loved your song. We learned about the phases of the moon too. I remember that, sweetheart. Mr. Hopster has been a great teacher. Mommy, mommy, Mr. Hopster is over there. Yes, I see him. Mommy, can we go? He's so much fun and he has a lot of interesting stuff to share. Sure, little ones. When you're done, come home. Sure, mommy. Hello, little duckies. How are you today? We're doing great. Excellent. Are you in a mood to learn something new about the moon? Sure, Mr. Hopster. We love to learn. Great! Today we'll learn about the solar and lunar eclipse. Eclipse? Huh, isn't that where the sun or the moon disappear for some time before they reappear? You are absolutely right. Let's see how this happens. Okay, here. Take a look at this. We have the sun, earth and the moon. We know the moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. Yes, Mr. Hopster, we know that. Sometimes the earth, sun and the moon can be in a perfect alignment but the sun or the moon will not be visible for a certain period from earth. This is called eclipse. What do we call it when the sun disappears? Well, we call it as solar eclipse. And if the moon disappears? We call it as lunar eclipse. Let's see the revolutions again. Keep an eye on the positions of the moon, sun and the earth. Okay, we'll do that. I hope you remember about the faces of the moon. Yes, we remember Mr. Hopster. You may find that the moon comes in between the sun and the earth during new moon phase and the earth comes in between the sun and the moon during the full moon phase. We see that Mr. Hopster. Okay, let's see this more in detail. Let's start with the new moon. You can see that the moon is in between the sun and the earth here. Sometimes the moon is aligned in such a way to cover the sunlight from falling on the earth either partially or completely. This is called solar eclipse. Solar eclipse can happen only on new moon days because that's when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth. Take a look. The sun is so much bigger than the moon but it's also so far away. Once in many of the moon's revolutions, it's aligned in such a way to cover the sun from the earth during new moon. In some areas of the earth, the sun can be completely hidden behind the moon. This is called total solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse looks like this. In some areas of the earth, the sun is visible partially. This is called partial solar eclipse. That's how we experience solar eclipse, duckies. And I know what you're thinking. You want to know about lunar eclipse. Okay, let's see how that happens. During full moon phase, the earth comes in between the sun and the moon. We know the moon doesn't have light of its own and only reflects the sun's light. Once in a while, during full moon, the earth, sun and the moon are in a perfect alignment such that the earth doesn't let any light from the sun on the moon. In other words, the earth's shadow completely covers the moon. This is called total lunar eclipse. Take a look. Can you believe that? On a full moon day when the moon is supposed to be fully visible, it will be completely invisible. However, 
total lunar eclipse is not very common. Instead, we experience partial lunar eclipse more commonly. This happens because the Earth's shadow appears partially on the Moon. Because the Earth, Moon and Sun don't align perfectly. Take a look here. So, some parts of the Moon will be visible during partial lunar eclipse. Okay, that was it. I hope you liked it. That was fascinating, Mr. Hopster. Thank you very much, duckies. Your mom is here. See you soon. Let's recall. Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone. We saw the ducklings learn about solar and lunar eclipse. Let's see if you can recall them. On which face of the moon can a solar eclipse happen? Take a look at the three boxes below. Can you tell me which one it is? Does it happen during full moon phase? Or does it happen during new moon phase? Or does it happen during the crescent phase? Yes, the solar eclipse happens during new moon phase, but only when the moon aligns perfectly, causing the sun to be hidden from the earth, either partially or totally. Let's take a look. In some areas of the Earth, the Sun can be completely hidden behind the Moon. This is called total solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse looks like this. In some areas of the Earth, the Sun is visible partially. This is called partial solar eclipse. That's how we experience solar eclipse, duckies. Let's see another one. On which phase of the Moon can a lunar eclipse happen? Take a look at the three boxes below. Can you tell me which one it is? Is it during gibbous phase? Or is it during crescent phase? Or is it during full moon phase? Yes, lunar eclipse can only happen in full moon phase, but only when the Earth's shadow covers the moon, either partially or totally. Let's take a look. Can you believe that? On a full moon day, when the moon is supposed to be fully visible, it will be completely invisible. However, total lunar eclipse is not very common. Instead, we experience partial lunar eclipse more commonly. This happens because the Earth's shadow appears partially on the moon. Because the Earth, moon and sun don't align perfectly. Take a look here. So, some parts of the moon will be visible during partial lunar eclipse. That's all folks, have a nice day.